John McCain just passed away a little while ago, uh, and he was a giant. He was one of the most important and relevant senators of my life. Um, this is similar to when Ted Kennedy passed away. These are the absolute giants of the Senate. Now, he was 81 years old, and boy, did he have a mixed record. Uh, so a lot of uh, good and a lot of terrible things, unfortunately, that he did. And we have to be honest about it, uh, even in his passing. So, uh, and, and he's a man that receives credit uh, that is unique in a lot of ways. Not a lot of people have uh, the kind of background that he has that he should get credit for. Uh, but I'm going to give you the full record here because that's our job. Uh, if you go all the way back, uh, his father was the commander-in-chief in the Pacific during Vietnam. And so he came from a military family. He went to the Naval Academy, did not do well there. He joked about it to his credit, so he was self-effacing. But he finished 894th out of 899 people in his class. So uh, not a great student, to say the least. Uh, so... He did have a number of accidents uh, as, as a fighter pilot, and then obviously uh, he was shot down over Vietnam. So uh, most of you probably know that he was tortured there. I don't know if you know for how long, and, uh, and to me the, the part that will always stand out and he should uh, receive eternal credit for is when they found out uh, that his father was the head of the Navy in the Pacific for America, they thought it would be good propaganda that North Vietnamese did to let him uh, go, uh, and then they could have said, ha ha, you know, w he left and w we still have the other soldiers, etc. But John McCain didn't play that game. And you just can't get enough, uh, can't give enough credit for this. Uh, he said, I'm not going to leave uh, unless you uh, release the other uh, prisoners of war as well. And they wouldn't, so he didn't. He stayed for five and a half years. When he landed, he had broken both arms and his kneecap. He was tortured continually, and he would not break. So, if you added the story there, it's already an amazing story. But of course, as you all know, he wound up running for office. He was first in the House and then in the Senate in Arizona. Now, we get to his mixed record when it comes to politics. Uh, he voted against Martin Luther King Day. Um, recognizing it as a national holiday. He did so on a number of occasions, importantly in 1983. So it was in 1963. Well, obviously at that point you couldn't have voted for Martin Luther King Day, but you get my point, which is that it was fairly late in the process. And if you thought, well, I bet it was a close vote, so he wasn't alone. Well, it wasn't that close a vote in the House. It was 338 to 90, and he was certainly in the minority there. Uh, obviously later in his career during the Bush years when they restarted torture, he voted against torture uh, and he should get an enormous amount of credit and he fought for that and he fought uh, actively and strongly against torture. So more credit on that ground. Speaking of credit, people uh, don't uh, cite this as much, but they really, really should. He did McCain-Feingold, his name's on it. That was campaign finance reform. Was a perfect no, not at all. I would have gone far, far deeper, but hey, um, uh, the corrupt Supreme Court uh, thought it went too far in regulating campaign finance. So, um, and he worked with Russ Feingold, a very progressive senator, worked across the aisle and was trying to clean up our government and our democracy. On the other hand, he was involved in corruption scandals earlier in his career. I mean, John McCain's life is the story of, on the other hand, okay? So he does great work with McCain-Feingold, but then turns around and votes to give his donors money almost in every single vote. So I uh, voted for Bush's giant tax cuts for the rich. He voted for Trump's giant tax cuts for the rich. There wasn't a tax cut he wouldn't vote for. There wasn't a war he wouldn't vote for. And uh, for the latter part of his career, he was mainly known as a hawk. That's the polite way of putting it in mainstream media circles. Um, the impolite way of putting it is warmonger. Uh, there wasn't a war that he, he didn't love. He thought the Iraq war was a great idea. That was, of course, a terrible, terrible mistake. Uh, on the issue of Iran, if he had won in 2008 when he ran for president against Obama, God knows if we would have stayed out of the war with Iran. Uh, he famously sang on the campaign trail, bomb, bomb, bomb Iran. So um, on war, it really doesn't get much worse than John McCain. 
Uh, so that's just the reality of his record. Um, so when you look at other things, again, we continue with the mixed uh, results. Um, when he was running for office, there's a couple of great, great moments. Um, so in 2000, he uh, ran against George W. Bush in the primaries. George Bush uh, had his worst moment there. Uh, they smeared John McCain in South Carolina, saying that uh, his adopted daughter from South Asia was his illegitimate black child, which is one of the worst dirty tricks in my lifetime in campaign politics. Bush and his team did that to McCain. McCain, as usual, handled it with great, um, I guess the word is honor there. Uh, I, I would have been, <laughs> I would not have handled it as gracefully, certainly, as John McCain did. Uh, but to me, that's actually not the best thing he did in that 2000 campaign. Uh, later in 2004, we interviewed Grover Norquist uh, at the Republican convention, and we asked them, why did the Americans for Tax Reform, that's the main group fighting for tax cuts for the rich, why did you guys support George Bush over John McCain? John McCain was more experienced, had a better track record, uh, certainly as a Republican, and he basically answered, well, uh, we asked McCain, uh, would he do what we asked him to do? And he said, no, that he would be independent. He would be the president, not them. When we asked Bush, he basically said, what do you need? To me, that uh, speaks incredibly well of John McCain. Here's another thing that speaks incredibly well of him. Uh, when he ran against Obama and at a town hall, a woman asked him about how Obama was Muslim. And he said, he's just not. That's not true. He stood up for his opponent. That is something you certainly do not see with the likes of Donald Trump. He had good enemies in people like Donald Trump, who, of course, famously said, I prefer people who weren't captured. Well, it's easy for Donald Trump to say, since he ran from uh, Vietnam, got five deferments. The last one famously for bone spurs, he clearly did not have. He said he had a, a strong letter from a doctor claiming he had bone spurs. So obviously Trump is the last man, last man on earth uh, who has the credibility to criticize McCain. When we found out that McCain had stopped treatment on Friday, uh, Trump said nothing, apparently internal reporting saying that he didn't want to say nice things about McCain. Finally, after he passed, a very simple, short tweet about him, but enough about Trump. Back to McCain. Well, so he stood up for Obama. Uh, he ran that campaign with a good deal of grace, with a giant notable exception of picking Sarah Palin as his vice presidential nominee. He knew she wasn't qualified. He did it to try to win. It was a terrible um, campaign, not trick, but um, tactic. It didn't work. It backfired on him, uh, and it wasn't the right thing to do. He knew she wasn't ready. He knew she wouldn't make a good president. That He was just playing politics, and that is not right. Uh, finally, the thing that he did at the end, though, another one where here comes the old maverick one last time where he famously came out uh, in the Obamacare vote when Trump and the Republicans were trying to take it down. He was a decisive vote. He came out very dramatically and did this and then voted down and uh, Obamacare lived. So, um, man, I, I don't know a senator who was a bigger figure in my life with the possible exception of Ted Kennedy and I don't know anyone who's had a bigger um, uh, record of uh, pros and cons. It's as mixed a record as you could possibly get. The warmongering, in my opinion, was just horrific. But the fight against torture, the fight to clean up campaign finance, uh, and constantly reaching across the aisle in legitimate ways. And But unfortunately, even though he fought against Bush and Trump, he voted with Bush and Trump a great majority of the time. So for better or for worse, it was John McCain, and he made a giant, giant impact. And, uh, and now, obviously, a huge part of the country mourns him. And, uh, and at the end of the day, the most important thing for today is that our thoughts are with his family. And I don't say that lightly. I mean, uh, they stopped the treatment. They knew what was going to happen. They were with him there, and, uh, and he was always great to them. And, uh, and obviously, they're in great sorrow. So John McCain legendary uh, Republican senator now passed away.